I'm Geo Charger. I'm Gimpy Dwarf. And this is EDL I'm Network. Oh, and we got Leisure Gaming over here. <laughs> Jump for the gun. <laughs> We're here with Leisure Gaming. <laughs> He's going to show us his Creeper Arcade and talk about some of the games inside. Uh, why don't you go ahead and take it from here? Okay. So I made the Creeper Arcade in Notchland. It's the very first thing you see as you enter uh, for Notchland. And I want to make an arcade that not only had many games in it, but when you play the mini games, and the mini games are free, but you get uh, golden nuggets from the mini games. And when you get up enough gold nuggets, you can come up here to the prize redemption counter and turn your golden nuggets in for prizes. And each thing costs a different, you know, amount, as you can see up there. What is that? Five hundred thousand uh, cool nuggets for diamond? Yep. <laughs> Man, you're gonna be in here forever. So certain stuff costs like gravel, one gold nugget. You know, certain things cost cheaper. Other ones, yeah. Good luck trying to get them. Uh, but the first thing we have over here is our Connect Four, which is just you know you fly up, you know, or of course outside of Creative, you go up the ladder and you put in sand, you know. That you try to just get connect four. Pretty simple. Yeah, and then when you want to reset it, you hit this lever, falls down on the um, uh, torches, which destroys the sand or gravel. Okay. And you put the, the levers right back, and it restarts the next game. How many? Uh, we have here um, little pinball machine designs. Uh, which I actually got the pinball machine design from minecraftfurniture.com. Uh, I just got rid of the paintings on the side so you could actually use the buttons like your tilting machines. Uh, I thought that having the pictures on the sides were kind of pointless and got rid of a large function of the pinball machines. Now, okay. um, in the middle here are a lot of um, fake arcade cabinets that I've designed. Uh, this one's actually a fishing game. You, know, you open up the chest, get your fishing pole, and throw it in the water, kind of like a fishing simulator. And then right next to that is like a VR simulator type arcade game. Um, then you actually have in back here some like kitty rides, like a swan, and we got a bald eagle back there. Uh, some race car. Race, race cars car. that I've designed that you know are kind of like race car games, and then you have what every arcade actually needs: Donkey Kong. Sit down in here and play Donkey Kong. Yeah, and we got like a horror game over here, and I think on the other side is a Street Fighter type one. Um, here is a fully working claw machine. All you gotta do to start it is press or flip the lever and press the button okay. and it starts both machines the uh, piston gets pushed around and when you get to a certain one you want there you go Gimpy got it pull it up yes. and you fuse you got diamond uh, diamond pick mat, uh, mine it and then you come down here you collect it from the water once it's fallen down, if you don't get all of it, and then just to turn off both machines, you press the button again. He got diamond on his the first best. try. I'm just the best. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, the claw machine. It's pretty simple. Actually, if we dig down here, you can actually see the um, redstone. There's not that much redstone, actually, oh, for wow. it. Wow. It's actually very simple to do. And we're very proud that we were actually able to make this fully work in the Xbox version because there's been some tutorials from the PC and they're, they don't work. <laughs> so we had to kind of work and work and work to, you know, make it work. You know, it took like literally five days of working just to get this where it actually worked. Well, it definitely paid off. I like off. how compact it is. Yeah, and that's another thing. We want to make it compact because we want to throw them in here in the arcade. Um, across from here is the Game of Life. Uh, basically, every single dispenser has arrows, except for one. 
one has a prize, and you're trying to find the one with pride, the prize before you die. Kind of like a Russian roulette. Okay. Yeah. You know? Which one's and got the prize in it? This one should be the prize. Hold on, what? That should have been the prize one. Hold on here. <laughs> My builder kind of messes around and puts the prize surrounded with arrows. I'm like, no, that's not fair. That's cheating. But you just come in here and change where the prize is. Ah, it's this one. There you go. Got a so, gold nugget. Anybody that comes in this Trade arcade, gold nugget it's in. right here. Just keep hitting that button, you'll get gold nuggets. <laughs> So, some other games that we built, um, over here, now we were the first ones to come up with these two mini games. Um, this is Shoots and Ladders, basically outside creative mode, you come up here, you try to jump up onto the ladders, uh, you're racing against your friend, you get up to the top, you throw whatever you have in your inventory down on the pressure plate, down pops the water, out pops your prize on the nugget. To get the water to stop, you just take the step off the pressure plate, the water goes away, you're done. Uh, the one next to it is called Creeper Jump. You just basically take something in your inventory and you're trying to get it on the pressure pack. Oh, just that easy. I got a gold nugget. No, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and across from this is Ski Ball. Uh, basically, your object of the game is you're trying to get into the two back ones, which have the pressure plates, which pop out the prize. you got to get them on both pressure plates to pop out the prize. Uh, anything in between uh, is different point amounts, but you don't get a prize. So kind of like the whole bowling, um, our bowling uh, lanes that we have is kind of that same mechanic. You have ice underneath the half slabs, and you're just really trying to avoid the other holes and get them in there. Can you hit um, the back 500? We tried doing a slanted level and it doesn't work. So, yeah. <laughs> and over here is hop, skip, and jump. You take a speed potion. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to not jump in the water at all. You have to land on the lily pads and get all the way through it. And at the very end, there's a pressure plate you land on that ends up giving you your prize. Which, of course, is another gold nugget, which you turn in for... I think it's a gold nugget. It might be a diamond. Hold on. The gold nugget? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a gold, gold nugget. Nuggets. So, yeah, you Check turn those out. in for prizes. And then right next to that is another mini game we designed, which is called No Diamonds For You. Uh, you flip on the lever, you take um, whatever you have, like slime ball, snow, or whatever, and you're trying to get all the way down to diamond. Uh, this is kind of a little bit of a rig game, not too bad. Uh, but basically what's happening is the pistons are popping up at random intervals, and you're trying to time it right. Usually, I mean, we you, it is possible to get it down to diamond. I think it took us... 40 tries, it's just all timing. Like, most of the time you'll hit gold, or iron, or, you know, you're just trying to, uh, it's all about timing, like I said. And, like, I'll show you here. See? Stopped right there. Didn't go further, you know, because that piston popped up. Go ahead, do it again. Ah, I actually got <laughs> better prize that time. And then it, when so yeah, this was just something we decided to make. Okay. And there's two sides to it, so two people playing at once. You know. Um, but yeah, that's arcade. It's something. Um, oh, and real quick, up on the ceiling. If you look up at the ceiling at the glowstone, they're creeper faces. So good to go along with the creeper oh, I face see. on the outside of it. Yeah, it's the creeper cade. Um, but yeah, well, I just want to make something for people that want to play mini games and have a little bit of fun before they start in on the PV stuff for the roller coasters and yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was. I've never seen anybody in an amusement park make an arcade or make an arcade where you can actually turn in for prizes. 
usually if you see an arcade amusement park on Minecraft, it's stuff that doesn't work, there's no games, and it's boring. It's like, okay, I saw it out next same roller coaster. But yeah, everything in Notchland works, it's fun. Uh, there's only three things in it right now that don't work. There's a Ferris wheel, a zipper, and um, a merry-go-round. Yeah. Everything else works. It's connected to prizes. Fun. All right. Well, if if you guys want any tutorials on how to build any of this stuff, uh, let us know in the comments below. I'm I'm sure we can get those up for you. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like it, give us a like. Subscribe to our channel. Also, head over to Leisure Gaming's channel. There's going to be a link down to the description, and you should be able to find a bunch of videos on Notchland over there as well. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. There you guys.